Hey guys, it's Arika Misha and today we are cooking Duncan Hines Epic Cookie and Cream Cookie Kit. Yes. Now, if you guys have been watching my channel, um, I have cooked the brownies of the Epic. Um, what else did I do? Oh, the chocolate chip cookies. I did that one already. And now I'm doing the Epic Cookie and Cream Flavored Cookie Kit. And they're usually quick and easy. And um, look at the picture, guys. Okay, these are going to be good. But y'all already know mine's going to look better than Duncan Hines. Mine's going to be better than Duncan Hines. I don't know about all that, but I'm going to record it so y'all can see. Anyway, so let's get into it. See what we got. In the back, it says here uh, you will need four tablespoons of melted butter, one large egg, one tablespoon of water. I mean... Ain't much we need, so that's it. So, all right, let's get into this box. Let's get into our box. Let's see what's in here. <coughs> These scissors. Let's see what's in our kit. I don't really think it's that much in here. Okay, so first thing we have this is the dark cocoa cookie mix. It says here, dark cocoa cookie mix. All right, and let's see what this little pack is. This is the, can't hardly read it, but. This is the sprinkle and cookie pieces. Sprinkles and cookie pieces. Okay, so it's white sprinkles and it's got pieces of cookies in it too. Okay, that's cute. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Now, last thing in our whoa, last thing in our box is the Epic Duncan Hines Cream Filling. Ooh, that looks good. And of course, it tells you in the back knead and squeeze before using. And if you don't know what kneading is, it's just pretty much you're doing this. You're just loosening it up. That's all you're doing. You are kneading. Okay, look at me needing. I'm going to need Duncan Hines to do better. That's what I'm going to need. <laughs> now, y'all love Duncan Hines. I love their um, products. I like how Duncan Hines makes it nice and quick and easy for a sister. All right, need, 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 need. Yep, mm -hmm. that's all the needing we need. So, all right, I'm going to need my box because it gives me directions. Okay, so let's get into this. Should be quick and easy from what I read. All right, so. Prep, preheat oven to 375. I already preheated my oven uh, to 375. Y'all just heard it beeping over there. Grease large baking sheet. I already did that. I got two sheets over here. I sprayed it with the oil. Okay, so first thing we're doing, cookie mix, melted butter, egg and water in a medium bowl until well blended. Okay, so our cookie mix right here. Okay, let's get it open. I already got everything laid out and ready. Let's, let's get it going. Let's get it going. Okay. Got the mix. Okay. We doing it. We doing it. Okay. And I'm telling y'all, Duncan Hines makes it so easy. I mean, Duncan Hines, they got cookies you can make in 10 minutes. I mean, Betty Crocker, all of them. They make it so easy for us. If you're not a professional cake maker, cookie maker, and all that, I mean, I do have a couple home recipes for chocolate chip cookies, oatmeal cookies, you know. But as far as uh, baking cakes from scratch, I have no problem admitting that's not one of the gifts that God gave me. Nope, not one of them. Okay, so we've got our mix in here in our bowl. I'm just going to use my fork to just get these big chunks broken down. You know, just to help it mix better. I always do that. Oh, this mix smells all chocolatey, chocolatey. I don't know how I say it, chocolate, chocolate. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah, enough of all that. Okay. So we need to add our okay cookie mix, melted butter. I've got my four tablespoons of melted butter right here, already melted for y'all. Okay, melted butter, egg, and water. Okay, I need one tablespoon of butter. Let me, I'm sorry, one tablespoon of water. 
Okay. One tablespoon of water. Okay. That's like one tablespoon of water and one large egg. I'm gonna crack my egg over here in this bowl just in case I get some shells. Cause sometimes I get some shells. I am not perfect. I have no problem admitting that. I am not perfect in any way. Okay. All right. Whew. Okay, so we got everything in here. And I got my little handy dandy spoon to help me get this all mixed up. Y'all know me. I don't really use no mixer. I have a mixer. Y'all done seen the mixer. I use the mixer just so y'all know I do have a mixer. But I'm old school. I like using my fork or a spoon. That's what I like doing. A fork or a spoon is good enough for me. All right, I'm going to get this all mixed up. Make sure y'all can see. All nice and mixed. Mm-hmm. We got our oven preheated over there at 375, so the oven is ready. And the only thing I'm doing, I'm going to make little, from what I'm reading, going to make little cookies. And I'm going to put some of this cookie sprinkle mix on top of it. That's pretty much it. It's easy. Duncan Hines, Betty Crocker, they all, they make it so easy for you. And I'm telling you, I can remember when cake mix and cookie mix used to be so expensive. I mean, I'd be getting cookie mix from CVS for a dollar a box. CVS, Walgreens, especially Walgreens. Walgreens always got it on sale for a dollar. It'd be a dollar for the icing and a dollar for the um, cake mix. I mean, come on, I don't get no cheaper than that. CVS, Walgreens, they always having a good deal on cookie and cake mix. Uh, but the Duncan Hines uh, Epic, they run about $6, $5.99 at Publix. I mean, that's where I've been getting them from. I haven't seen them anywhere else. So, All right, we got our cookie mix all mixed up real good here. Let me make sure I get my sides all scraped up. Make sure I get all my stuff, all my stuff that I paid for, yes. Okay, so we got everything all mixed up. Looking good. Okay. All right, so let's move on. Let's put all this over here. Let's move this out the way. We're gonna move our box out the way for now. Because the only thing we need to do is tray these up. Let me see my boxes. We just supposed to tray these up. Um, pour the sprinkle and cookie pieces on, on top of the cookie mix. All right, get all this out of the way. Okay. All right, looking good. All mixed up. Okay, so all we're doing is laying down the cookie mix. I'm gonna go get a different scoop to do that. So we're just laying down the cookie mix and we're gonna put the cookie sprinkle mix on top. So that should be easy. Okay, let me get, I'm gonna get my ice cream scooper that I always get. I always get my ice cream scooper to make sure to make sure I'm not scooping up too much. See my little handy dandy ice cream scooper thing above here. So I've got two of these already sprayed. My trays are already sprayed. Alright. So let me get the cookies down. See it helps me have my portions all nice and even. See, that's all you need is a little small little ice cream scooper. See, and it helps you make your cookies all the same size. Let me bring y'all back so y'all can see. See? Helps you make the perfect size. Everybody the same size. Everybody the same size. 
perfect. See, that's all we want. We want everybody to be equal. Word of the day, everybody is equal. God made us all equal. God made all of us. That's the word of the day. All right, so we got two, four, six. Okay, we got six on here. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead. Hold on, let me find something to lay this on. Because I want to put my sprinkles. I want to put my sprinkles on here. Okay, so we're going to sit that to the side. Okay, so let me make sure y'all can see. Okay, y'all can see. Let me scoot over this way a little bit. All right, so now we got our cookies. The cookies and sprinkles. We got that mix. Let me crunch it up a little bit more. Because those cookies in there are kind of a little big. So I'm going to crunch them up a little bit more. Make them smaller. And get everything all mixed. Get our, our sprinkles and everything all mixed up evenly in this bag. Because we want everybody to be equal. Okay. So, all right. So, we just need to sprinkle some on top of the cookie. That's all we doing. Just dropping some on top of our cookie. All right. Looks good. Little cookie pieces. Okay. All right, looking good. Okay. Okay. Okay, this cute. This cute, y'all. I'm doing it. Mine's gonna look better than Duncan Hines on. Better. Better than Duncan Hines on. Y'all know me. So I'll be, I'll be boosting myself up. Mine's gonna look better than Duncan Hines, better. I'll be boosting myself up. Okay, these look good. I think I wanna add some more. No, nah, that's enough, I don't wanna overdo it. Okay. All right, so we got one tray done. We got one tray done. Let's move this tray over to the stove. Okay, let me get my second tray. Okay, y'all. Okay. I'm really doing this. I love cooking new stuff. All right. So, let's trade this one up just like we did the other one. Everybody going to be equal. Okay. Looking good. This smells so chocolatey. Like straight up chocolate. Smells good. Okay. Looks good. All right. Okay. Looking good. All right. We is doing good, y'all. I am doing good. Okay. And then my last one goes over here. Just like my other tray. Okay, okay, that looks good. Looks like I got a couple more cookies in there I could do. So I am gonna do those two. All right, let's get our cookies on top here. Sprinkle our cookies on top. Okay, all right, now slow down cookies. Don't, don't be doing all that now. Don't be trying to, don't be trying to ruin my cookies now. Come on. All right, y'all can get on on there. Get on on there. Okay. Okay, now. All right. Okay. All right, y'all. Let me give y'all a good close look. All right, I got my cookies all zed, my chocolate. Chocolate cookies all zed. Yes. See, this aluminum, sometimes it reflects the light, but. Okay, y'all see. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these in the oven per instructions. Per instructions for 15 12 to 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and set the timer for 12 minutes just to see. So if I need to cook them a little longer, I'll put it back in for like a minute or two, but 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get all the cookies in the oven, guys, and we'll be back for our next step. So after the cookies cook, I'm gonna go ahead and let them cool off, y'all, and then we'll move to the next step, which is, y'all see here, right here where they're, she's, they are filling them with uh, the icing, so. All right, guys, I'll be back to show y'all what the cookies look like. Okay, guys, I just took the cookies out the oven, and they're like a dark chocolate. Don't think they burnt, because they ain't burnt, y'all. It's a dark chocolate recipe. So, don't be tripping, y'all. See? Look at the box. It's a dark chocolate recipe. Don't be like, oh, them burnt. No, they not burnt, y'all. <laughs> they not burnt. They are dark chocolate recipe. They are actually, why am I picking that up? But yeah, I just wanted to come and show y'all the cookies. They're cooling off. They look nice. The whole house smells like chocolate. Come on here, child. Do you know? He be acting up. Y'all see? Y'all be seeing it for yourself how he be acting up, child. He be doing that on purpose. He be trying to make me look bad, but he can't make me look bad. I'm a child of the king. You can't make me look bad. You can try. You can try. But yeah, those are the cookies, y'all. They looking good. I'm letting them cool off. And then what I did, I'll show y'all when I come back when I do the cream um, between the cookies. So just wanted to show you the cookies out of the oven, cooling off. I got them on the table. I do have a third tray in the oven. So after that gets done, I'm gonna let everybody cool off and then I'll come back and show y'all me putting the cream in between. So I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. My cookies have cooled off and I'm ready to put my cream in between the two cookies. So, all right, I've got some cookies already matched up here. And the cookies turned out really nice. Let me bring it in for y'all. It's like a dark chocolate. It turned out really nice, really cute. So I've got my two cookies. And of course I put the cream in between. And they're kind of like the other cookies I made. You put the cream in between and you just stick them together. Okay, that's easy. So. I've got my little handy dandy ice cream scooper. I did pour, uh, squeeze the cream out into the bowl as you guys see here. It's just easier that way. And I'm gonna go ahead and use this to scoop up the cream guys. So you guys can see how I'm gonna do it. Let me bring it in for you guys. And I'm just gonna drop my cream in the middle of the cookie like that. And let me show you guys how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take the back of the ice cream scooper Where's my other cookie that matches this? And I'm just gonna twist it like that. Just kind of twist the one top cookie so my cream can spread. See, just as I twist it, the cream kind of flattens out in there. And see how that looks? Ooh, yummy. Ooh, it look cute. Mine's look cute, y'all. Okay, so this is mine. Let me show y'all Duncan Hines. So, mine's Duncan Hines. Who's look better? That's right, mine's look better. Better than Duncan Hines. Oh, okay, y'all, they don't really look as good as Duncan Hines, I'm gonna be honest, but that's okay, that's okay. I made it, these mines, I made these. Mm-hmm, look at them. Those are cute, y'all, those cute. Those are real cute. They mine, so I made them. So, they look real cute. And like y'all know my little, my little cookie dish thing here over here. That's where I'm gonna stack them up at. So, I'm gonna do one more with y'all. One more, y'all, one more. Okay, over here with this cream now. One more. Drop them a cream in the middle of my cookie. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I'm taking my other cookie and I'm just twisting it down on the cream so the cream can flatten out. Okay. That's it. Voila. Magic. Voila. Oh, okay. Back to the cookies. Voila. Ooh, my cookie's cute. Okay, y'all. All right, y'all. Y'all seen me do it, so you know I did it. Thank you so much for watching. This is Arika Misha. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media, guys. Come over on Instagram and follow me. Show me love and support over there as well. At Arika Misha. And don't forget, guys, knowledge, I feel knowledge is power. Thanks, guys.
Bye.